we can't deal with the uh, government creating our wealth because the government can't do it. The only way the government creates a dollar is by bond from China or another country or by taxing you and I. So to your point, the class for the cash for clunkers with a non-starter should never be done. Right. Uh, what can you talk anything about those federal regulations that they just passed through, which is which is tantamount to being as bad as Obamacare, not worse. Uh, but they're going to be getting into uh, <coughs> our personal and private lives. Um, the, the sad thing is, if you listen to uh, Barney, Barney Frank, Chris Dodd, they don't know what's in it. So it's one of those things like the Nancy Pelosi with health care bill. We won't know what's in it until actually it's passed. Because you think about these monstrosities, they're passed by the House and the Senate. No one reads these bills. Remember how the uh, White House and Nancy Pelosi said we had the most ethical and transparent administration in Congress? Well, that isn't happening. We're getting a, a rush through 72 hours. Well, you can't read these bills in 72 hours. I read the original HR 3200 uh, for the health care bill. You have to get the tax cut out. It's a very long and involved process. It comes back to we can't have lawyers writing all these laws. We've got to this place by having a lot of attorneys. Is anyone in this room an attorney? See, the problem is you go to Washington, D.C., and you ask the same question, over half the hands go up. And I think it's high time that we get more people like the blacksmiths. Blacksmiths are no longer here, but you get my point. Get people that actually run small businesses, that are salespeople, that are doctors, that are nurses. That health care bill on the Democratic side, to my knowledge, there was not one health care uh, practitioner that got involved with that. And that's what the problem is. You know, my lobbyists in my race to represent you all will be you all. I mean, you think about it, there's a lot of great minds and great expertise every place I go. For example, uh, John Sheldon, who's the uh, past president of the Kansas City Metropolitan Medical Society, when I sat down and earned his endorsement, the question I had for him was, you know, you're in charge, you know, literally of a very big uh, political action committee. Has anyone from the Obama administration talked to you about health care reform? No. So you have the 29th biggest metropolitan unit in the United States. Not one person from the White House contacted them. This was never about health care. This was about a government takeover of medicine. If you want to look at the health care bill, what would help would be actually market-driven forces, such as medical malpractice return. Any physicians in here or nurses? You can relate to this, too. And you know, this will come down to uh, Ms. Stephanie Moore, who's running for dentists. <coughs> she works for OBGYN physicians, and she works at Shawnee Mission Medical Center. The problem for these folks is they pay more in malpractice insurance than they do in their federal income tax. Both are too too high. That was never addressed. I don't know about you all, but I could not go into work every day thinking about if I make one little mistake, I'm sued and ruined. And it's just, it's a travesty right there. It's over $100 billion a year that we spend on medical malpractice reform because the physicians pass that cost on to us. Also, there was no insurance portability, that needs to happen. Also, healthcare savings accounts are an option that would happen too. And one thing I have to point out to people, the Pelosi and Moore Congress has been really, really sneaky. This is a flexible benefit spending card. I put out the max I can every year. I have six kids, so you can go up to $5,000 a year. I have braces, my youngest son has type one diabetes. So you have all these expenses you wanna take care of. Well, they're starting to phase out. You can't put in $5,000. they are lowering it down every year. And soon it's going to be at $2,000. Well, that $3,000 that I can't have tax free, so to speak, at a 30% 30, 30 tax bracket, it's an extra $1,000 out of my pocket. So they're having all these hidden taxes, too. So the problem is not enough government. The problem is too much government. Any other questions? That's my question. The financial bill they just passed last week, the health care bill. Um, if the Republicans do take back the House and the Senate, and uh, it's overwhelming, but I've heard a lot of talk of Ben, Obama, and Pelosi and Reid will go in and do what's it called, um, where they pass a whole bunch of stuff before the new people. Lame duck session. Yeah. And they will. So that all terrifies me. It should terrify you. How me. in the world will you be able to turn it around? That's a great question. People said, Joe, John, you're going into this, this self-imposed term limits. You know, if you're a good guy, we want to keep you out there. 
Well, here's where the solution comes into. You know, as I mentioned to you before, I'm the only candidate that's got a sitting congressman to endorse me. So I've already shown the ability to work in Washington, D.C. I'm also part of a group called the Freshman 50, but there will actually be a lot more of us who are being the Freshman 80. That's going to be a powerful group. Because think about the math right now, to your point. There's 177 Republicans. Not all those Republicans are Republicans that vote the way we want them to. Democrats and Republicans have gotten us to this point together. So that being said, a powerful group of 80 of us will be a very strong voting block. And so to speak, all of us have signed on to the fact that we will not lobby Congress when we're done. In my case, all of our cases, 12 years. And people say, well, how can you say that? You can go out to lobby in Washington, D.C. I might be able to go out to lobby D.C. on behalf of the Boy Scouts. I'd be doing it on my own nickel. I'd be a volunteer. I have no problem with that. That's exercising my First Amendment right, which, Yvonne, like I tell you, you do very, very well. Secondly, with regards to that, you have to understand that this was never meant to be that lifelong job. We have these powerful blocks of 80 that we can get together and make things happen. Because when you look at what happens on January 3rd, we all come into the 112th Congress, we're going to have our deck stacked very high against this. We're going to pick up a majority in the Senate. We won't get to 67. It would take a miracle to get every Senate race. You and I both know that's not going to happen. So that being said, we're not going to be able to veto-proof what, what's going on. But we will use every single legislative and parliamentary option at our disposal. For example, they want 16,500 new IRS agents for health care. Well, guess what? We can't touch that bill, but we can take 16,500 IRS agents over here, so they're going to have to move them over there. We're going to have every parliamentary trick at our disposal to do the will of the people. Because this health care bill, for example, is not the will of people. The polls still are out there. Over 60% of Americans don't want that. This administration, and, you know, with this being Dennis and Stephanie Moore, is every time we turn around, they are at our opposition. Border control, over 60% of Americans do not want uh, amnesty. And they're talking about ramming this through. The fact of the matter is, with the border, we need to secure it yesterday. And, you know, one of my opponents running for U.S. Congress right now has voted to give in-state tuition to illegal immigrants. I'm sorry. Um, a friend of mine, his grandfather, he has a grandchild that wants to go to Johnson County Community College. They live in Johnson County for five months and one week. She can't qualify. She has, she has to live there for six months. If you're an illegal alien, you get in-state tuition. My son's going to be a sophomore in college. He wanted to go to Missouri. Out-of-state tuition. Illegal immigrants get in-state tuition. We have to take care of our own first.